Hey everybody, welcome to part two of the Surface Grinder restoration series. In the last episode, we basically just caught up on all the progress that I had made but not filmed. And in this episode, I'm going to show you mostly polishing some of the handwheel parts and also applying paint to the handwheels and the main body and base of the Surface Grinder. I don't have any video of painting all these little parts that you can see me setting up right here but it's basically the same process that I detail later. There's a couple parts on this surface grinder that are, well, they were polished on the outside and then painted on the inside. And this must be some sort of chrome plating because it was, I was able to sandblast this and when the sand hit this by, you know, like overspray, it kind of glanced off and glowed. So I don't know what finish that is. If you know, and maybe it's chrome because it looked like it rubbed it off here. Um, yeah, if you know anything about what I'm about to do that is ridiculous, just post a comment so I can learn. Uh, my understanding is that you start with the brown compound on the buffing wheel and kind of do an initial polish and then move up to this blue for steels, or maybe that's for aluminums. Okay, so if that's for aluminums, I'll do this little switch piece, um, polish this up nice, and then I'm gonna move on to the this ring, the outsides of all these wheels. And this is a really interesting one. I don't know if it's some sort of cast, what is it, some, maybe some sort of bronze or something, but sandblasting this may reveal this kind of copper tint to it. So I have no idea what this is gonna look like, but once we get this whole area polished up, real nice and shiny, cleaned up, then I'll mask all the nice polished stuff so I can shoot paint on the unpolished stuff. All right, now that I got a uh, you know tolerable first shine on this, I'm gonna put some of this blue compound on this other wheel and take it to a final polish. It uh, looks okay. I mean, I think it'll be an obviously polished thing once it's all cleaned up. Now let's get to it. I guess. I don't know. I'm sure if it was machine better, it would be a shinier. But if you guys think I'm doing something wrong, just, you know, let me know in the comments. All right, let's get started on the, the wheels. My understanding now is that we'll start with the black compounds and then the green compound. Well, let's get to it. Oh, now that is looking fresh. All right, that's cool. I don't know anything about polishing. Oh, I know that you have to use compounds and you have to prepare the surface, but as to how to do it and when to add compound again, or how do you know if you're running out of compound, or how, to, how smooth does the surface have to be, I don't know any of that. But this black is doing pretty good, so I'll just keep at it. Well, that took a long time, but I think we have some reasonably shiny parts. This one turned out the best. This is the little indicator ring. And 
it's matching pointer or whatever. This is the weirdest one. I could not get a good polish on this one. This has this brass or like coppery situation going on, uh, but it's at least somewhat consistent. And once it's painted, it'll look like maybe that was intentional. These, these also were not the, the shiniest thing. I don't know if there was a better way that I could have prepped this or masked off the original finish and kept that. This also, this is aluminum, I think, and it shined up really well, so. Got these masked up. I used, uh, just took a little while to get the, all the casting parts cleaned uh, of the tape. And uh, now we're just gonna hit them with some uh, clean metal, clean metal primer. Let's talk a little bit about the painting process for the surface grinder. Uh, as you see here, I'm putting on clean metal primer on these hand mills because the metal was pretty clean. Uh, it's a much better primer when the metal is completely devoid of any rust. On all the other parts, you may have seen the red uh, oxide color. That's a rusty metal primer by Rust-Oleum. On all the rusty metal primer parts, I put that on with spray cans of it because it was easier to do it piecemeal than mixing up uh, the paint and putting in a spray gun. Whereas here, as you can see, I am using a spray gun with the final coat, which is Rust-Oleum Professional Smoke Gray. And that is a hard enamel paint that was, they sell at Lowe's, they don't sell at Home Depot. It was not as, it's not as easily available, um, but I had to thin that with uh, acetone to get it to go through the spray gun really cleanly so it's about one and a half to two pints of acetone per gallon of paint and those are the instructions on the paint itself so I just followed those putting the paint on was just a matter of really lightly dusting it uh, to get some initial coverage I would kind of go in a circle painting each part a little bit and then returning and painting the rest of the parts over and over until I had good coverage I only put one good coat on it's not the best paint job in the world, but it will certainly protect the metal and it looks uh, quite a bit better than all the chipped paint used to look on the grinder before we got a hold of it. So that wraps up the second part of the surface grinder restoration. Um, if you like this video, you can show your support by subscribing to the channel or if you have any questions, please comment uh, below. Thanks a lot, I'll see you next time.